Hey guys, welcome to another video for the POCO X3 Pro, also known as YU and Pima. Now today we are talking about installing a custom ROM and you would ask me why am I making this video again because I've already made a video on this topic when this particular device was released. Now there's a lot of confusion going around as far as the bricking is concerned that on MIA 12.5 firmware or on MIA 12.5 POCO X3 Pros are getting bricked and you will need to replace your motherboard. Now that leaves a lot of people scared and that is the reason we are making this video in which I'll be installing ASP extended version 9 which is an Android 12 ROM and we will be using the MIUI 12 firmware. I will first flash the recovery then flash the ROM and then tell you the do's and don'ts of installing a custom ROM and to avoid bricking. So before we get into the details if you like watching custom ROM stuff every single day well please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really really motivates us. If you like chatting with different people who have similar devices you can join us on telegram we have more than a thousand people chatting every day over there you can also join us on instagram facebook and twitter if you wish to because we are present almost on all social media platforms and last but not the least if you think the hard work is worth the effort please click on the join button and support the channel now without further ado hello awesome people welcome to phone ops my name is kalash let's get going all right now to show you guys over here what exactly we are going to do is we have a unlocked POCO X3 Pro running bone stock MIUI 12.0.4 I don't have a sim card in there I don't have my Wi-Fi connected so it will not prompt me to update and even if it does please ignore it disable automatic updates and stuff like that stay on MIUI 12 now after the bricking process has started, a lot of people have, you know, complained that their phones are getting bricked. Almost all the custom ROMs for this particular device have rebased their firmware to MIUI 12.0.4, which means no matter what custom ROM you want to install today, you can go ahead and use the MIUI 12.0.4 firmware to go ahead and flash that ROM. Now, one thing that you need to make sure of, I would highly recommend just to be on a safer side, if you are unlocked, well, flash the MIUI 12.0.4 or 12.0.5 or 12.0.6 stock ROM using fast boot using a computer and then proceed with installing the recovery and installing a custom ROM, right? Now, this is just for safety. This is for your own safety. It is not recommended by POCO. This is my way of making sure that my device is secure. Now, another alternate dirty way of doing this is you are running a custom ROM which is MIUI 12.5 based or which is using a firmware which is based on MIUI 12.5. You can just wipe everything and you can flash the MIUI 12 firmware and flash a new ROM. That theoretically should work as well. But what I would recommend is if you're unlocked, flash the MIUI 12 firmware, complete ROM, boot into it and then proceed to installing a custom ROM. If you are locked, when we have a video in which you can downgrade your phone even on a locked bootloader. Now with all that information out of the way, what we are going to do here is first we are going to flash TWRP. But before you actually do that, you need to take care of a few things. First and foremost, basic requirement, you need a POCO X3 Pro with a computer and a USB cable. Your phone must have more than 50% battery. Make sure you have backed up each and every information on your device because everything is going to be wiped and you need to go to settings. You need to remove your MI account, remove all your Google accounts, go to passwords and security, remove your face unlock, screen unlock and fingerprint unlock. Now, once you've done all of that, reboot your device once, which I've already done. And then when you're sitting on the home screen, the process to install TWRP and a custom ROM begins. So the first thing that I'm going to do here is I'm going to reboot the device and I'm going to put it to the fast boot mode. And I'll see you guys after flashing the recovery so that we can proceed with the process of flashing AOSP extended. So now, as you can see over here, we have booted into TWRP. You can use a TWRP recovery of your choice. I'm using the latest one. And as you can see, there is no encryption or decryption issues. Even my internal storage is available on the PC. So what I'm going to do here is now I'm going to copy the files to the phone's internal memory. The files that we are talking about is the firmware file, which is the MIUI 12 firmware, the ROM file, which comes with G apps, and then we will also use DFE, which is disable force encrypt because I don't want my device to get encrypted. If you want your device to get encrypted, you can leave that alone. If you want my disk, you can flash that after flashing the ROM, right? Now let's go ahead and quickly copy the file. All right, so what we've done here is we've copied three files. That is the 12.0.4 firmware, very important. We've copied the ROM, which has JAPS and built, and we've copied the decrypt file. So let me show you these three files. They are over here. If you download these three files directly to your phone, they will be in the download folder. Now, what we need to do is we need to go to wipe 
and then we need to go to advanced swipe we'll wipe dalvik metadata data and cache won't wipe in internal storage because that's where our files are okay now go to install select the firmware first add more zips select the rom add more zips select the dfe swipe to confirm flash the rom file is huge so it will take about two to five minutes to flash so please be patient but at the same time you can keep going through the log just to make sure that you are not getting into any errors let's wait for the flash to complete all right now as you can see over here everything has been flashed and there are no errors so we go to the main screen go to wipe go to format data and type in yes okay now reboot system so we flashed the ROM, we flashed the MIUI 12 firmware and we flashed DFE which means we are now safe. We should not have any breaking issues because we are not using MIUI 12.5 or a custom ROM which is using a MIUI 12.5 firmware, right? So let's wait for the phone to boot up completely and as you can see ASP extended boot animation is already there. Let's wait for the boot to complete. Okay, we are on the setup screen. Let's quickly skip everything. All right, so as you can see, just like that, we are on a custom ROM, which is based on Android 12. We are using MIUI 12 firmware and everything is working as expected. If you go to about Poco X3 Pro and you go to the Android version, this is ASP extended version 9 and official. So this was a quick step-by-step -step guide, which will allow you to install ROMs, which are based on MIUI 12 firmware instead of MIUI 12.5, which is dangerous. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this video? Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.